you know, you want to do some damage there. Right, that's like a When really... you're making that plume of wings and you've got this muta tech. Yeah, and it's a really strong observation because uh, two racks is like, or two hatch is always really low on economy. Like, mm -hmm. there are points where you can choose to make some extra drones, but for the most part, if you're forced into doing anything like make an extra sunken or make extra lings, that is drones that you're never going to get back for the rest of the game, pretty much. So, um, mm -hmm. and very, that, very That's part of what was out. nice there from like a slight marine move out, forcing a sunken. And that extra lings but right. okay let's get into this game yeah so in the top right corner of uh gladiator we've got our green zerg sugo also known as Z i believe he's going by zom yeah and then in the top left in the purple it is kanzaki ranko our terran player so, I, so another I, tbz i played um kanzaki last season in cpl um, I think we only played one game, so it must have been in the preseason when I played him, but, uh, mm. Kanzaki is one of those players who claims that they have one, like, one really good matchup, and then all their other matchups are terrible, and so they're, they're being held down or being unfairly placed because, oh, my, my ZVT, my TVZ is 1700, but my other matchups are like 1000 MMR, I'm so bad at them. Uh, mm -hmm. But Kanzaki does not definitely does not give himself enough credit because his other matchups are are still good. It's just that his TVZ is incredible. Like it, it, for for tier two, he could easily be a tier one player if for he TVZ. was only yeah if he was only playing TVZ. If this is a pro league type scenario where we just send out Kanzaki versus versus Zerg, he could easily keep up with the tier one players. And, and when I played him, it, it was. Exactly like when I play other level characters, like I'm, like I'm playing a, like a, like a royal blue, like a like a sig sauce or something, where I make one mistake and the game is over. You know, that kind of thing. Uh, and in my game, I I my second cast was eight, so I had seven uh, instead of nine, and my third, and I just barely lost the fight to save my third, with because. I made that one mistake, and I had slightly yep, few slightly mutas. like gas, and then and he, he punishes. Yeah, he took, he punished it. He killed my third base, and I was just behind the whole game. He's really strong mechanically. He knows this matchup really, really well. And we actually see uh, Zomnal going for hatch gas pool. So, all right, or sorry, this is I believe this is just um, hatch pool gas, but it is a two hatch build. Or mm -hmm. I, I, there's some possibility that it could be two. If I catch that, no one really doesn't know anymore unless something weird happens in the in the early game. I just tried to be for Kanzaki. I would not expect anything else. Mm -hmm. but, ooh, I get escapes. Because there's yeah, no yeah, second marine gets coming away. out. But, um... Yeah, either way, I'm excited to see how this game goes. Uh, Kanzaki actually went 1-2 um, in the week prior to this playing TVP. So... I don't think that's, you know, it's not his strongest matchup for sure. This is definitely Kanzaki's strongest matchup. So very, very fortunate that he got this, uh, this matchup for his Grand Finals match. He got to play in his comfort zone. Where mm -hmm. most of them would probably not say that ZVT is their comfort zone. Unless you're True Touch. <laughs> then <laughs> then, then you are then you like ZVT, but... Uh, uh -huh. uh, I, I from, Personally, this is probably my favorite matchup as well but it's not definitely not my best um we do have a nice amount of drones being made here by uh Zonaldo. Yeah, but still this really early creep colony i feel like this is way too early uh, both um tempest and uh Zomnal are making this early creep colony and this is something that when i got Ooh. coaching from from jayun he told me absolutely do not do this because this is way too early there's nothing that Terran can do to you at this point. So while you do want to make, um, you do want to make two sunken colonies versus a two racks. You want to make them like as Terran is moving oh, out. Oh, an additional hatchery so coming. Yeah, Get this is kind of weird. This is sort of how you would play if you were going up against a gas style. So I'm not sure if yeah, like one one one. I'm not sure if I'm just not scout or like doesn't know if there's a gas or something like. Uh, no, he he did I think so. Um, it's like, you know, if you, if you were playing against, um... Yeah, because that hatchery positioning is sort of like anti-vulture run-by. 
Exactly. If this is a speed vulture, this would be part of your Sim City. Mm -hmm. and, and then you'd have like a hydrogen coming down. Yeah, actually, there is a hydrogen coming down. Yeah, so he's unfortunately he's um, misread this build a little bit. You don't need the yeah, hydrogen. Yeah, because you need you need two more sunkens, don't you? Yeah, you need you need. Uh, he is making the extra sunken. You really just need two and like maybe a handful of zerglings. But okay. Zomnal has made almost pure drone, and this second sunken is not going to be done in time. Oh, I'm afraid that he's just going to get busted here. Yeah. There's no units. You need you can defend this, but you need units. Mm -hmm. And so it's just going to be one sunken going down, and then the next sunken okay, going the, down. Okay, sunken, yeah. Mm -hmm. He needs some drones here. Like, he's got full drones and like. And now the fire back comes, and now it's the worst time to pull the drones. Yeah, now you can't do it. Okay, well, there's not. He's. This, this time, this classic two rex timing. This is just designed to hit right before uh, mutalists come out. And uh -huh. you can see that in effect. Kansaki's gonna have time to uh, prepare back home, even if Zomnal were to miraculously hold this. Oh, okay, Firebat's doing work. The Firebat with a medic behind it is is very strong. And okay, so he actually survives, but yeah, no sunken. Okay, well, okay, there is one sunken, but extremely low health. Yeah, uh, and I think even these couple Marines that are coming across the map, if these medics were with them, oh, these couple Marines could like end the game, but. We only have like one mute in production. Yeah, okay, two more, okay, two, two more two. mutas. But this is not like this is worse than not engaging at all with when you have a small number of mutas because um they really can't fight efficiently. So I'm surprised Kanzaki's actually backing up here because there's nothing uh no, there's no threat here. Like two mutalisks can't do anything. But I guess he sees the number of Zerglings and thinks, okay, well, I I'm already got such a big advantage here. Zomnal kind of got punished for droning up so hard. He had no Zerglings at all, and only that one sunken, uh, with the extra two being too late to stop the incursion. So, Kanzaki's got to be feeling pretty strong in this position, already getting a starport. This is pretty normal for two racks. Okay, no, we do I think you maybe around. have a third barracks at this point, but instead, oh, he's getting a machine ship as well, so maybe we're going to see some kind of... Some Tank this, but... mm -hmm. Yeah, and it looks like... Is just completely abandoned. This oh. Is... Oh, oh! Okay, good hits. Good oh. hits. Now, Kanzaki's gonna have to think twice about uh, going in on this. Uh, it still has 70 energy, though. Uh, oh, he's burr, 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 burr. Okay, it actually goes into a pretty nice position. Oh man, Zomnal, though, he's supply blocked, and that happened because he lost more than one Overlord. I think. He. he... Did he not make like extra overlords in preparation for his butalisks coming out? Maybe he did, and it was just he just. Lost I think he over. lost a couple during that initial attack. Maybe. Okay, now this is the ultimate Zerg tilt maneuver. Oh. Every Zerg has done this, where they're like, "Wait, okay. he might kill so many SCVs." Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, he barely missed the shot. Unfortunately, on SCVs. going for the you need Three. Uh, you need three lurker shots to kill SCVs, and both of them were able to get away. But. Keep in mind, you know, this. these lurkers are on high ground. This is a very strong position. Now, he needs to target these lurker shots so that they can Yeah, these down are, this is a very threat. choked natural with the bunker in production. Yeah. Oh my god, that bunker is a 99%. Oh my gosh, you're right, yeah. Okay, the repairing SCV. Oh my oh, gosh, oh, tried it. Oh again. man. Uh, I, think, I think Kanzaki is still okay, though, because Zomnal has a very weak economy. Me. Like he, he's only got these workers going for him. He's, he's going from Muta now. Oh, he, he's switching back into Muta. Wow, that is a very oh, unexpected play. All right, the bunker finishes. Oh. But it actually, gets targeted down immediately. Oh yeah. And these Marines. Oh, we do have the best oh, that's allowed. Okay. So he's not going to have actually, a radio. But whoa. Yeah, this is. These lurkers are just taking everything out. Yeah. So, so now he's pinned by lurkers on his, uh, above his natural. This is actually, this has become a much more interesting game than it was looking like. Yeah, uh, there's going to be at least, um, a minute or two before Kanzaki can even think about landing that CC again, because although Irradiate is done, he now only has one Irradiate. So which one is he going to target? Okay, there's more lurkers reinforcing. Mm -hmm. So, so there's is... something interesting that we can see Kanzaki going for is that he's going for a dropship. So oh, okay. what he's going to do with this 
uh, will be interesting. There are Scourge at the top of the map, which is the most direct path with a dropship. So that could be interesting. He did have the Mutas positioned at the bottom of the base, of uh, Kenzaki's base, but it's they've moved now. Yeah, so, and he's going. He, he has siege. He as might just well. go for the. He might just be going for the vessel. I think, and I think he could get it. Based oh on yeah, the he's gonna position. bomb in on the vessel. Oh my gosh, this is that. What a play! That was perfectly, perfectly done. He had the the. He, he if waited he just takes until... this tank, this pin, uh, these lurkers yeah. are gonna be pinning him here for oh so long. Oh my gosh, long. it's gonna take forever for him to break out because now he has to wait for another vessel or another tank. He, it's he, all he, about he... this dropship for Kenzaki. Wow, Zomnal is really impressing me. Like, he flew the, the Mutas directly on top of the science vessel before he clicked it to make sure that mm -hmm. he got the kill. The and vessel then he doesn't run away, because... The, the tank, like, with... Okay, there's another tank out now. And it okay. is protected by bio and turrets, so he's not going to be able to snipe this one. But we got to watch this dropship. It's on the... It's going right into the natural now. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. Was it just so going he, into the main? He was able to no, dodge just the drop right here. Interesting place to drop, okay. I like it. I like it. He's gonna take that extremely weak sunken down. There was no. Okay, did and not then have straight the to the main. To, uh... Oh, oh like these mutas should be able to clean. Yeah. Micro them, He's got to micro them. Okay. And now if the dropship goes down, I just feel like this is a, become an extremely difficult position for Kenzaki. Yeah, Pins hard. Terran cannot Nips. survive on one base for very long. Like, Terran can survive on one base longer than the other races, but this is Zerg now on three base, and what did he make it? He's making drones. Okay, so Zerg is going to have a huge economy, and pretty much any tech... We have Wraith tech... production coming out of Kenzaki. Oh, man, I don't know if I agree with that, because, yeah, the Wraiths are going to are gonna help you deal with um, Mutas, but you know what's better with for dealing with Mutas is Vessels. Science Vessels. Yeah, yeah and Vessels would but also we don't help even, we don't even have very many. Muted at the moment. Right, oh, but the wraith. We've got another. We've got a guardian tech. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. I... Okay. So that's why he's going for wraith. That's why he's going for wraith. It's because of the greater spire. Okay. So he did see the greater spire when he ran in. Yeah. I assume. Okay. That that much makes sense. That much makes sense. Um, I was about to say that I think Zerg could go for any tech and it would be sufficient. This um, is the ideal position to have the guardians, like we were talking about last yeah, game. Yeah, absolutely. You have them pinned in. But did he turn every? Okay. There are scourge. For the wraith. Yeah, and no doubt he will be making more skirt. Oh, there's there's an overlord in place. Oh, this there's a the... devourer. There's a devourer back oh, here. Oh, nice. Yeah, this is a really nice play. Um, the de the devourer is ideal in case he decides to go for Valkyries or something like that. The devourer is also okay versus the wraith. Okay, it looks pretty funny when it one shots a wounded wraith, but uh -huh. now there's an overlord in position, and you lose quite a few of those guardians. I think the tank gets picked seven, off. Yeah, this just seems so hard now for Kanzaki. Really um, good, sh I feel like, strategic play from uh, Zonno. Oh, where yeah, he absolutely. wasn't in a very good position, actually. But he made use of those lurkers, and he's turned it into a pretty crazy uh, push, where he's just taking out this natural and pinned Terran in his own base. Yeah, this is also ideal. Like, the, this is the dream scenario for... When Zerg is like, all right, F it, I'm just going to go all in, and they run all their lings and their lurkers into your base and just hope that it's undefended, this is exactly what every Zerg has in mind. <laughs> like, having a dominant advantage and having the turn pinned in, but it probably only works like one out of every ten times. Zomnal just had the control and the, the strategic understanding to make it work and not overcommit to this attack to just say, all right, Terran, you're going to be on, uh, on one base forever. Now, Kanzaki is trying to lift another CC out to another base, but does not appear to have the attention required to make that land. And the real, you know, determining factor here is going to be the lack of gas. Well, I think the time. wraiths, it requires so much of your micro, especially yeah, now that it's yeah, anti-scourge, yeah. that it's hard to do anything else. And, and if you don't take out, like, guardians, if you're not, like, able to slow them down, which he's been doing a good job slowing down the guardians, forcing them to turn around continually, but it takes so much micro to do that. Like, as soon as you're not microing them, Scourge come in, boom, one rate yeah, down. Yeah. That's like a third of your DPS. And Zomnal is also handling this this battle like really well. He's got an extra Mutalisk out here, which is really good to pair with the Devourers. He should be making a few more Guardians, maybe, but um, besides that, it's like 
Terran is still yeah, in the same situation. Yeah, he's got three Devourer right now. <laughs> yeah, Terran's in the same situation as they were, you know, five minutes ago. Like, there's been no progress made. Landing a CC now, but Zomnal has kept his money low the entire time, continuing to tech up, now adding an Ultralisk Cavern. No Defilers. I like this. This is, like, really gutsy play. Running in with a lot of Lings now. Those medics are actually providing quite good Sims C, but mm -hmm. there's not enough Marines behind them. The Lings are eventually going to start targeting these down. And the, the yeah, Kibro now you've got workers. workers on top of production. Oh, these, yeah, that's it. Yeah, these medics. That is the, wow. that is the end condition. Very well, very well played game. I felt like uh, Kanzaki was in a very strong position, and then that sort of desperation push uh, just did him in. Yeah, Kanzaki... Uh, Kanzaki read the situation well because Kanzaki was able to um, was able to identify that there was a lack of defense at the front, and so he he initiated his two racks push as soon as possible, trying to get into position early, and did a lot of damage, killed a lot of drones, and punished Zomnal for droning so hard early. But Zomnal, with that that counterattack, was just so sharp and caught Kanzaki so off guard that. It managed to kill the entire natural and gladiator the map, working a as a disadvantage for Kanzaki in that in that map because. Uh, yeah, the lurker pin just becomes so hard to break. Yeah, absolutely. Like lurkers on high like ground. Like you need the irradiates to take them out. Yeah, so that's why I, I think like... you know maybe going for um, maybe going for the uh, the mech or maybe going for the wraiths was not the the wisest decision well i think he, he had to go raids to counter uh he had to go raids to counter the guardians because his vessel can't uh, off the one base you're having to spend so much gas right um, but his his first his first um his first vessel unfortunately got picked off but he needed to make more vessels because if there's four lurkers sitting on your ramp you can't just skate by with tanks and one vessel and one comm set like if you ever have any hope of breaking out, you've got to go for that risk of just getting some more irradiates and making sure that you have enough science vessels to be able to push out. Because if he had, if he concurrently had a science vessel and a tank, he would have been able to break out of that before the Guardians hit. But he didn't mm -hmm. because the, he lost yeah, his lo first tank and he lost the, his first science vessel. vessel. And, yeah, when you lose that, then it becomes really hard. So yeah, you kind of have a... the two approaches. You can... It's the same cost. Well, no. Vessel's more gas intensive. But, yeah. uh, tank and wraith are same gas cost. But, yeah, they're, so, they're occupying different production cycles, so you just need to have the money. But, um. Okay. Either way, well, I mean, okay. that, was, that was very impressive. And, uh, we're now on Sylphid. We've got Sugo, aka Zomnal, as Red Zerg at 12 o'clock. And at 5 o'clock, it's Kanzaki Ranko. In orange. Mm hmm. And so we'll have to see what. I feel like. I mean, either side can sort of dictate what's going on. But I feel like a lot of it is going to be what Kanzaki goes for. Yeah, I would be very surprised if uh, Zomnal did not go for two hatch again because this is an even better two hatch map than um, uh, uh, Gladiator. So hmm. there's no reason for him not to, seeing as he won the first game. Maybe he wasn't very convinced that of, of his win because he was in a very dire situation at one point before Kanzaki slipped a little bit. So um, maybe he'll change it up, but I would expect him to go for two hatchery, and I would expect Kanzaki to go... Um, I don't know, maybe, maybe he'll still continue with the two racks, but I would not be surprised to see a five racks play out of him here. Just... It, but he, you, the thing is, you have to go two racks if you see a two hatcher build, because otherwise yeah. you will not have the the resources necessary yeah, to defend count. against it. Yeah, you'll just have like five marines, and then the like six mutants just kill them, and you're screwed. So, um, while well, Kanzaki up at 600 APM, I still have to say it is it does speak to the strength of Zomnal as a player that he is able to take out. Uh, Kanzaki so convincingly because Kanzaki is really really strong in this matchup and mm -hmm. he probably has the most experience in this matchup. So, uh, as the scout goes, it looks like Zama uh, is going to get the first scout and Kanzaki is going to have to get himself the second scout. A little risky by Zama with the 
Overlord coming this far in it, isn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, if it were a 1 1 1 or something, they'd already have a Marine, and this Overlord would probably be dead. So, or they wouldn't already have a Marine, but you wouldn't see there anything here until they had a Marine out that was in a position to shoot the Overlord. So, uh, and again, yeah, so it is two it, hatch. I, I'm feeling like this is going to be. Uh, I'm feeling like this is going to be Rax Expand coming from Kanzaki. Yeah, and then probably. Gas, so. Yeah, as soon as he scouts this, he'll go for two Rax. Uh, and... after, after they expand. Now, it's actually... So, pretty... Mm, right? I was gonna say, if you went... If there is a possibility for, like, a Burrow Ling or, like, a Speed Ling all-in in this situation, but I... I don't think you would go for something like that if you don't go Hatch Gas Pool. I think you'd only... You, you wouldn't do that if you went Pool Gas. You'd only do that if you went Gas Pool. So I think Kanzaki can be fairly safe just taking this expansion and not have much to worry about early on. Two Rax mm -hmm. response immediately... And we should see him make a few more SCVs and then go into a gas. Hmm, how many lings? Okay, so he, he made at least, um, at least four lings did Zerg. So, hmm, I don't know. There's, you know, there's a lot of different philosophies for playing, um, Dwesh because it is such a, a volatile build. Some people say you should play lings because every drone is so important that you just need those two lings to watch for any possible progression, and the rest is to go into your economy, because you have such a, a short amount of time to build up your economy that you want to maximize it as much as possible. Other people say you should go for, like, six or eight lings and just keep Terran from scouting you. Just lock them inside and prevent scouting, and mm -hmm. in that way, maybe you can surprise them with, like, Mass Muta or Greater Spire or something of that nature. So nice little drone block uh, yeah. in between the natural and the main there by Zomnal. Uh, he is making two more. Yeah, so he's, he's going up to No, I guess, I guess going up to eight. Yeah, going up to eight. So, yeah, sort of what you were talking about, like, he'll probably use them just to gauge, like, marine count, figure out that this is a... What, like... At a certain point, Zergs can tell based on the amount of marines at certain times. It, right. That you it, see. Right around, like, five minutes or five ten... Uh, you'll probably see Zomnal poke in with at least one Ling. And he's going to try and determine whether or not Kanzaki's going for a Oh, we do have Speedlings oh, coming in for in a surround, actually. I feel like this is... Hmm. It's a, this is strong. I mean, he can kill these uh, these Marines if there's no Micro, but the SCVs are getting in on the action. Mm -hmm. uh, no, but he so, still... I feel yeah, like that actually almost all. helped. The SCVs didn't really attack. Like, they kind of glitched out a little bit, so... This attack is going to be deflected. Now there's medics out, which makes it a lot harder, but he got a lot of value. Look how much mining time he's losing. Like, And now yeah, he cause... knows exactly what the build is, because he saw a commsat and he saw medics, so uh, Zerg knows exactly what he's up against. Ooh, making his drones a little bit in the main in the meantime. He's got, like, three drones not mining. Uh, that's a huge... A huge... Oh, he's for, yeah, the third base. Now, mm -hmm. this is what you would only see if you go for... Guardian Devourer Link. The sort of third Kill base. That scouting see. SCV. Okay, Muta. Yeah, you're right. He still does have two drones not mining in the main. Or three. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Um, that's. Th I mean, this is literally like a third of your economy inside the main base, your mineral economy. So as a result, he's not going to hatch all of his mutalisks at once, unfortunately. A um, little bit low on minerals, but uh, the, these mutalisks are moving across the map. And okay, you know, the he advantage caught of... one, but he hasn't caught the two that are right next to the drones. Oh, he denies another scouting SCV moving out. That's, yeah, that's, that's pretty nice. good. Um, the, the, you know, the so advantage yeah, this of third building... hatch, this, I mean, uh, this third base should be Ooh. decent, but it's sort of like what you were saying before, where uh, it's not going to be the easiest to get a fourth base off right. of that. Like, you, you have to get map control around the time that you're looking to take a fourth base. There's no other way, because if Terran is out on the map, they just park themselves outside of your base, and you can never leave. Like, you used to have... You've been watching all your entrances, and... Do we have a pin uh, here? Instead of drone on the map, you're never going to be able to place that hatchery. But, but mm -hmm. you know, the advantage of doing what's done and building some like, zerglings and doing this little attack is... Kanzaki is going to have to be a little bit more cautious about moving out, because... You don't know if there's 24 lings waiting alongside those mutalisks, you know? You don't... 
you don't have as large of an army as you're used to having. There's no bunker back at base to defend in case there's a counterattack. So he's being forced he's to monitor. Yeah, movement he's continually closer. scanning the natural in the main. Um, actually, we do have a plus one carapace yeah, for the so mutas being researched. This is gonna be guardian tower lane, uh, almost certainly. Like this is this is almost the exact same build that uh, Miso used against Light on Aztec. Uh, very similar positions. In fact, I think the, they were in the exact same positions, although Aztec is even slightly worse for Terran than Sylphid is. Uh -huh. um, nice micro here. Doing really... A 300 APM Muta micro sniping off these SCBs. This is delaying the economy of Kanzaki and keeping him at home. All the while, just mm -hmm. for this one carapace to finish. Man, he's really wiping the SCBs here. <laughs> yeah, That's man. pretty I mean, crazy. Tier 2 Terrans beware, man. That's, that's Man, the, look at this nice uh, drone production here coming out of his ammo. Yeah, so in this build, you only build drones from this third hatchery. Your other bases are making pure mutiling. And look at this, he's got his hive out at 811. Really nice timing. Like, I think Miso's hive was at like 745 or something. So this is like not even that far behind. Like a pro level Korean Terran's control. And I think. Oh, but he is five meters. That was a big issue. I yeah, because like uh, you said before, you want to keep the mutas uh, alive because yeah. they're eventually what you're going to morph into your guardians. The so we don't lose... have sunkins. Yeah, this... no sunkins, but I think he can micro against this. Like, this is definitely a win fight with only mutalists if he displays the consistently high level of micro that he has. And two of those mutalists yeah, are very low. Well. They're very low. But yeah, There's more mutas targeted... in production, though. Okay, yeah, so he is gonna just continue. Oh, he loses the at least one of the ones that was very low. There's still one very, very weak muta in there. And look at this, just picking this apart. Surgical precision. Kanzaki's reinforcing, but he is losing more mutalists. This is a risky situation now, but I think... More uh, mutas on the way. I think he's still fine, huh. because he's got a saturated three base, like, looking, looking really good at this point. So, yeah. I mean, really This has well been done. a really productive group of Medic Marino for Kanzaki. Yes, abs yeah, absolutely. But I still don't feel like the position is bad for uh, Zomnal based off of the economic harass he got off. Uh, like, yeah, these Muta aren't exactly being efficient, but I think he can kind of afford it based right. on how well... Oh. oh, no. Yeah, okay, so... Now so it's I just like multiple control groups of mutas here. Actually, it's it's one it's one control group, but it's all mutas. It's probably control groups of mutas. So now, it's, it's a little bit scary because we only have the one uh, starport and we only have the science facility seventy five percent of the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ideally, you'd want your first vessel to be coming out somewhere around ten thirty. Not necessarily with irradiate, but um, you'd at least want it to be close to completion by now. And these mutas, keep in mind, these are plus one carapace mutas. And Terran, uh -huh. everything they have is volley damage. So... Oh, and look at this, denying the gas. Such a smart play. Yeah, yeah. 250 HP, that's only like a And we don't of have the gas more. made at the natural from oh, Kanzaki. Oh, really? That's that's just got to be a mistake, right? Like, he's he has to just have forgotten that or, or Well, I think he's it. been prioritizing uh, after seeing... You know, like, look at the turret count at the natural. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. yeah, you need the gas. Zomno really could go in and deny this. Yeah, he's gonna kill all these marines. The marines are gonna need to back up. Yeah, that's what happens when you A-move mutalists. They kind of just sit there and do nothing. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, either way. Oh, and here we go. We have eight guardians in progress. Now, you should morph these two low-health mutas into devourers and then rally additional mutalists ideally you only want to do like one morph you want to just like get 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 those guardians out get those devourers out and then everything else that's coming in mutalists and if you lose an inordinate amount of either one then you just reinforce with whatever you have so but this is i mean this is really, really okay he sees kenzaki sees the guardians now with the science vessel yeah, but yeah. they've just finished morphing and all he has is one vessel I should also note that um, Zonal, if this initial attack doesn't work, he has Hydra Guardian prepared behind this with five hatcheries. So, he is, he does have uh, an additional attack plan, but man, these marines are just gonna melt. Yeah, actually, the refinery's burning down in the main. Oh yeah, Kazaki's you're right. 
I don't think he's realized it. And he can't properly mine from the gas at the natural. So what is happening is he's going to be extremely gas starved. He can only produce one vessel at a time. Um, and the natural is oh. going to die. Yeah. If he loses that last gas, that's going to be almost checkmate because it's going to deny his gas mining for so long that, like, everything that counters this is gas based. He needs either he needs either wraiths or he needs vessels. And if you don't have gas, you can't get either. He can continue to keep making marines, but this is only three barracks production. They're not particularly well yeah, there's just too much. There's too much guardian and there's too much rally coming out, and the so gas does burn down. He did turn those last two beautiful the devourers, so the this is the tech in, in this style. Now on, on yeah. unlike Tempest, which we saw try to utilize this style earlier, Zomnal did a really good job of keeping his um his mutas alive, and I think Kanzaki reacted to the muta pressure worse. Um like he didn't he didn't have turrets in the proper place, he had to pull his SCVs a couple times, and now you have a mass of Hydra Guardian coming in. One of the most yeah, and, and like, the only classic thing you have, compositions. Yeah, you have like a small marine group, so the Hydra really can win. He's gonna okay, try so an eraser we... against Hydra Guardian. Maybe he didn't notice that the Hydra. Yeah, I think were there. he didn't notice how many Hydra there. But yeah. I mean, you're run. You're really out of options at this point, anyway. And so GG. That was just such a hard position, but really well played from uh, Zomnal there. Like, yeah, yeah. Really impressive. That was really well played by Zomnal. That was that was hot. <laughs> um, that that's yeah, a as, a, that as a Zerg player, you're probably almost losing it. Yeah, that's like that that's one. a sick. <laughs> it's a sick build, but it's like it's so hard to do right. And of course, Zomnal playing with you know almost 300 APM the entire game, M Muta microing his heart out and hitting the build perfectly back at home, which is in a way the more impressive feat. Um, Staying on track with all of his all of his timings and uh, just nailing that build absolutely uh, and making uh, not really making a game out of it for Kanzaki. I mean, Kanzaki's really strong in that matchup, but I think Zomnal is probably one of the players that you're gonna see, you know, in tier one soon, if not, you know. Uh, yeah, it's really interesting that the two games afterwards, after we saw that sort of attempt at the Guardian. Hydra style in that last game, uh, in game two of Xeno. Yes. Uh,